Hi, this is Blake Butler, lead exercise specialist at the Lift Wellness Center. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about the kettlebell swing and explain a little bit about the difference between the two common terms you might hear with kettlebell swings, American kettlebell swings and Russian kettlebell swings, as well as give you a good idea of which one you should be doing for your shoulder flexibility. So in those two movements, the American and the Russian kettlebell swings, the primary difference is the height of the two movements. The Russian kettlebell swing comes up to whereas the shoulders are parallel with the kettlebell, and in the American kettlebell swing, we take it directly overhead. The Russian kettlebell swing typically focuses on the short power needed as well as controlling the momentum of the movement, whereas the American kettlebell swing requires more power, more core, and more shoulder stability. However, you need to make sure that you have enough flexibility to do this movement. So to find out which one is best for you and the height that you should be doing on your kettlebell swings, do the overhead movement test, which we're gonna show you now. All right, so now that we're down on the ground with the person wanting to do an overhead movement, we're gonna go ahead and do our clearing test. To start this, we're gonna lay flat on the ground with our toes pointed straight up and our hands directly over the chest so that our hands are straight above our shoulders. From here, I'm gonna place my hand in the small of her back telling her to pull her belly button down into the ground and to squeeze her hip muscles. From here, she's gonna lower her arms slowly down to the ground, trying to maintain pressure into my hand. If she's able to reach her hands all the way to the ground without losing pressure on my hand, then you're clear to do any overhead movement safe and effective. And that's the end of our clearing test. So now that we've determined which swing is best for you, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate both of those. Both movements start exactly the same. The only difference is the height that we take the kettlebell swing and how much hip power we put into this. So we're gonna start off with our feet roughly shoulder width apart. We're gonna have our kettlebell starting just in front of our feet. We're gonna focus on keeping our belly pulled in and keeping a tall chest so we have a neutral spine. And we're gonna focus on thinking about hips back, have a seat, stand tall, hips forward. So we're gonna go ahead and have this kettlebell out in front of us, which helps us get that first momentum on the back swing of the movement. Now this movement might look a little jerky and look like we're just swinging the weight around. However, when done properly, you're using a lot of control throughout the movement, maintaining that swing. So feet shoulder width apart, belly button in, tall chest. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the Russian kettlebell swing first. Hips back, belly button in, tall chest. We're gonna grip that kettlebell, bring it back behind our hips, stand up to shoulder height. So as you notice here, I have a very short swing movement and I'm allowing the forearms to rest right on the inside of my thighs as the kettlebell comes back. Next, we're gonna to move to the American kettlebell swing, which you can do if you've passed that overhead movement test. So all we're gonna do is take a deeper seat, allowing us to get more hip power, bringing that kettlebell up to full extension. So again, we start with our feet, hip width apart, belly button in, tall chest, hips go back until I can grip that kettlebell. I'm gonna get a deep swing behind my legs, bringing it all the way overhead. Hips back, stand tall, kettlebell right back down. So I'm controlling that movement at the very top with a tight core and tight shoulders. So this is our video for the kettlebell swings, both Russian kettlebell as well as American kettlebell. Before trying the American kettlebell swing, be sure to do the overhead movement test to make sure your flexibility is good enough to do this movement. Thanks for watching.